I can delete this morning. Hallelujah. We give God praise. We give God glory. For this God is a God, is a God forever and ever. He will be, he will be our God from now, even until the end, even until the end. together for Jesus the King. Let's do it very well. Let's do it really good. Glory to God. God is a faithful God. Hallelujah. We may be seated. Praise God. Praise God. Now I stand here as a testimony of God's faithfulness and mercy. Faithfulness and mercy. In fact, I remember just now as I opened my mouth to say that, that when I came home from one of my trips, and I went straight to my friend's church. I'll be introducing him in a moment. And the, the testimony in my mouth was God is merciful and kind. Because when you thought nothing was possible and it makes things to be beautiful, that's the testimony. And when the Lord spoke to us at the vigil, closing up the first 25 years of, this, of the dispensation of this ministry, into the next 25 years, he said to us, behold, I do a new thing. Now it has spring for us. Shall you not know it? Haven't you seen it? And I, he said it will make a way in the wilderness. It will make rivers in the desert. So I begin to explain and expect and trust the Lord for a release. Something beyond our imagination. Now, I told you the other day, the best of me you've seen up to date is the beginning of my best in years to come. And I believe that that's true for all of us as a church. In the name of Jesus. Amen? So I'm one of the people that God confronted and did good. I like to say it in Yoruba language. He faced me koro koro like this and did me good so that I don't miss it. Amen? He will do that for you in Jesus' name. Praise God. So this morning, I want to thank God. I want to thank God and every remark that will happen, Pastor Rafa has said it all. That is someone that you can call him a gift to the body of Christ. Let's put our hands together again for this servant of God. It's a gift to the body of Christ. And so when God looked at me and gave me a gift in him and in his wife, and I delight in God. The other person I want to honor is Mrs. Ogunino. There was one particular day she took a step and held her husband's legs so you are going nowhere. And that was remarkable. I can't forget it. And that brought us to where we are also today. So when I was leaving, one day I asked Pastor Adakpo, I said, well, um, you thought I was coming back. I'm not. You have to do the job. He said, ah, let me go and think about it. And then they went and prayed. His wife was the person that gave me the answer. I don't know if she's online or not. 
It was his wife that told me, I said, Pastor, we will do it. Hallelujah. So the women are so pivotal in anything we're doing in this ministry. So when we begin with Pastor, I mean, Professor Mrs. Now she is, uh, at Bemiro Adedako. Let's put our hands together for her. She's not here today. But Pastor was at some point tired. He said, look, listen, I've done this thing. He said, you come home <laughs> or find somebody else to do it. And I told myself, well, you're going to do this thing. I said, let me go and pray about it. And then let me talk to my wife. And she gave a response that we carried along together. Amen. We gave God the praise. And then, of course, um, Mrs. Ogunina did the same thing. Now, if my wife, now I told you that this is the second or third time that I will be here at the convention with my wife. I want to first of all honor her, especially when they say that, uh, what is the thing behind the Yogba? What's the, what's that thing? Again, Latin word, then Yogba, something like that. You, you, you know what that means, you guys? She's the one. Let's welcome my wife, please, to say something. The fact that she's here today, I'm glad and complete. Let's, let's welcome Dr. Mrs. Florence Agnew. Please come. Just come and say hi. Now, it's a testimony that we're here today. And I want to believe God that we're about to get into a new phase. And I trust that he who has begun a good work, he will finish it. Thank you for, thank you for who you are. Somebody has already found the answer to my, to my code. If you find the answer to my code, you're, you're still going to win something. Praise God. To God be the glory, great things he had done, so loved he the world that he gave us his son, who yielded his life and Now I don't know what to say. <laughs> Praise God. God is faithful. God is kind. God is compassionate. He has done great things. Um, but for time, I would have loved to sing great things he has taught us and great things he has done. I have been a student in the hands of the master for many years now from one level of knowledge to another. I remember when my husband was going to go to Swaziland in 1998, we were in our living room with Pastor Adedakwa and Bro Femi and Bro Benga. Yeah, that was all. I think Mama was not there. And uh, he, was, he was going to go to Swaziland. And I said, excuse me, everybody, I am not a pastor. This church has only existed for three months. Close it now because me, I can't visit. My husband will visit till 2 a.m. Whether there were armed robbers or not, it, it didn't matter. I mean, you know, when grace is operating, some people just flow in and, and they just do it. I don't know how to do it. He will remember the name of everybody and the clothes they wore to church for the first time. Me, I, to even ask for somebody's name will be an issue. But you see, uh, in the wisdom of God, I've asked the question many times. You know, many times you will say husbands and wives, they look alike. But in many ways, they don't look alike. Am I correct? There's always a blend of somebody knows how to do one thing, the other one knows how to do the other thing. And that's the wisdom of God. And honestly, I stand before you today just amazed. Just having been a student. Just amazed at how grace can bring this kind of thing to pass, can bring a team to pass together 
and hold them together, and things can be achieved. Even when my husband said, you know what, I, I don't know what I want to do. This is what God is saying. The church is existing. How do we merge these two? See what God has done. See what the Lord has done. When God brings people who, even when you have no comeliness, when there's nothing to, you know, to relate to it, but they stand there and they say, you are the first pastor, you are the general overseer, you are the, you are the one. We have not been home. This is my first time of coming home nine years ago. Nine years ago, I was here for the burial of my mom. And, and from the burial of my mom till now, I've not been in Nigeria at all. And so to come and see what God is doing for me, I'm still a student. Amen. And I see that God is moving all over the world. I mean, uh, in, in Canada, we do a lot. We, in fact, people will say, how did you raise this, your children? I mean, those, those girls are another story of what God is doing. And many times we'll be like, we didn't do anything. We just were raising them. We prayed. We relied on the grace of God. They were in church. They sing so beautifully. Even us. My husband will say, record, record. When, when Toby is singing, she's got a very beautiful voice. It was Debo, it was Rofemi, it was those people working on them, making them sing. And we can date all these things past to history and see what God is doing. Not only here, it is all over. I mean, most of our, the things we do now is hybrid. Because we've got people all over the world, amen. And they join and they raise our hands and... I, I can only say to God be the glory, great things he has done. And for the strength and wisdom that he has given my husband, all these nine years I've not been here. He has been here at least, maybe seven times or more. He will come, he will do the bit he can do. God will bless whatever it is and we keep going. And to God be the glory, we are here today. I don't know what more to say. I think I should keep quiet. Thank you so much, everyone. It doesn't, you know, the church of God is never about one person. And that's one thing I, want, I have found out here, that the Lord Almighty has shown up for us even when we didn't deserve it. Jesus died when I didn't deserve it. Jesus says this is going to happen when we didn't deserve it. When we can count the number of days or hours that we've been here and God has moved on his work. The church is marching on. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. Congratulations, Heritage of God Church. From the bottom of my heart, from I, 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 where we were coming, you know, we even came differently again. He had to come ahead because of the way our schedules work. But God saw us. We are here today to give him all the glory. And I want to thank my husband for his patience while I was learning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Praise God. Amen. Now, I'm delighted to see someone walked in as we were introducing. I'm going to bring a friend of mine up now. But before then, when I left Nigeria, went to Swaziland, and then went to South Africa, my wife and I, we found a father in the land in South Africa. That means we found a home away from home. And I'm actually surprised that he had to make time to be with us this morning. And I want to specially honor, respect, and welcome Apostle and Reverend Mrs. Osamaya. Please, let's join me to welcome her. Apostle, Doctor, and Reverend Mrs. Osamaya. Please, please bring them forward here to... Hallelujah. Now, in Johannesburg, we will go to his house every month to be refreshed. To be refreshed to be renewed in the far distance. We found home away from home. And I'm actually surprised when he called us yesterday or two that he was going to be here this morning. We're elated, we're honored, we're blessed. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, sir. Amen. Praise the Lord. We honor you. We're going to have a time to hear from you in the course of the day. Welcome. Praise God. We may be seated. Thank you, Jesus. I want to bring a friend of mine up, and this is important. When I was in high school, it was the one that invited me to the church where I got born again. 
Now, he happened to be my best man when we got married. But today is significant because in most of the significance of my life is there. So when I say he invited me to the church where I got born again, I'm actually making it simple because we're friends. But actually, he discipled and followed me up to make sure that I didn't backslide. He was the one that told me how to stop cursing. You know, when you are talking, you say, Olongbo, Olongbo. He called me, but they don't say Olongbo. You don't need to say Olongbo. Don't say yes or no. He then he taught me what it means. So, yea is yea, nay is nay. But in the same class, he invited me to the SU Christian Fellowship on the secondary school class days. And then we grew up. He was the one that taught me how to pray in tongues without being tired. I will get to him, we'll be praying, we pray a lot. And then I'll be praying with no anger. He said, well, but they don't do that. You will lose your energy. Just pray. And he will do it for hours. I said, me too, I will do it like that. You know, so that we don't get tired. He taught me to pray. taught me to read my Bible. In fact, I began to write like him at some point. He probably didn't know all that. So today, I want to honor this man of God. Now, we, we, we are friends. I mean, wherever I am, he's my bosom friend. How did I know? It was in those days, there was morning school and afternoon school. I was in the afternoon class. It was in the morning session. And then they said there was one guy who is brilliant in the morning session. And I was in the afternoon session. I said, I want to know this guy. So when we got to from two, I think from two or from three, they match Jack and Dave. You know, they match all of us. Some of you don't know Jack and Dave time. They matched all of us together. There was no more afternoon or morning school anymore. So we became to the same level. And I said, I'm going to see whether this guy will beat me or not. When I hear he was going to a fellowship, ah, so maybe that's where he's going to learn what he's learning. So he invited me to the church and said, in our church, we do classes on Saturdays. Come and learn integrated science, mathematics on Saturday. And I went there, said, this one, I will beat you. You, you. you think you know something. And then they will say, if you like, come tomorrow morning, which is Sunday morning now. Because after the church, we will do class again. Ah, I came in the morning. I want to learn where he's learning from. And then in that church, Foursquare Gospel Church, 62 at Kiyomi Street, I think it is, I got born again. Praise the Lord. Welcome with me, Apostle Richard Udo. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's put our hands together for this man of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Pray. Please, you may be seated, though. Please. Uh, amen. Apostle and Mrs., you're welcome in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to appreciate Professor Oladapo. Yes, I'm glad to call him Professor today. I remember when we were at Lakeside. We entered UI together. We were in the same class for one year. He's a professor now. I salute you, sir. <laughs> Praise God. Honestly, I thank God for this church, Heritage of God. Heritage of God is a seed that God has sown. I, I say it because at least from somebody that is close, outside close, a lot of things that I was party to or that I got to know but that this seed has survived through every challenge, through every adversity, through every clement or inclement weather it can only be God at this stage also I want to appreciate the visionary for the vision but they and Kemi the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. They gave birth to a child, and by the design of God, they had to move away. And then somebody stepped in. A man of integrity. A man that loves and fears God. A man that knows how to honor. Church, would you be kind enough to stand with me as we celebrate Professor Ladapo and his wife? Professor Adra. <laughs> Amen. We celebrate you, sir. Honestly, thank God for the Holy Spirit. You are the reason why we are here today. I want to say thank you. 
Thank you for being faithful. Thank you for being honorable. Thank you for your sacrifices. I remember in that same year, the first day I met his wife, I just walked up to her, sister, what's your name? I had heard what I thought her name was, though. I just wanted to hear from her, herself. Ebo, sister, I can And she mentioned one name. I said, Adra. You mean your mother was giving up spreading when she gave back to you? And I thank God for what a lovely, God-fearing daughter of Zion she has been. I don't know if she's watching us now. Sister or Professor Adra, <laughs> I want to say thank you. God bless you. I want to appreciate all the ministers of God that have served in this place. Uh, one of our resident pastors was here a while ago. Uh, maybe he's just left. And of course, our are you the outgoing pastor, sir? Because you look like the picture of the person I saw. Oh, he didn't come in. He didn't come in. Okay. Well, aha, uh -huh, okay, okay. Praise the Lord. Uh -huh. Let's appreciate this man as he's coming. God bless you. God bless you. You see, God gives vision. Men watch over vision. Please, let's sit down. Men watch over vision. Men tend vision. Men prune vision. So that the ultimate that God desires of vision will come. And all of us, in different point, at different points, we have all come to be part of the vision of God called the heritage of God church. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. May the Lord cause his grace to abound on you all in the name of Jesus. Even those of us that are out that are coming to celebrate to you today, with you today, may celebrations not be lacking in your lives and in your home in the name of Jesus. What the Lord has done, just like God's servant has said, is just the beginning. Now we are getting ready to move to our real level. And in the name of Jesus, may it come with ease. May it come with speed. May the Lord himself bring men to his house in the name of Jesus. For those of us that sacrifice greatly, because when I came into this place, this estate itself, to be able to get a choice property like this is a great sacrifice. To sit down and maximize the land is also a great sacrifice. And to put up a solid edifice like this is a mighty edifice. You know, in Luke chapter 7, verse 5, the centurion wanted Jesus to come in and pray for his servant. But for whatever reason, he didn't have the protocol to meet Jesus. And uh, he approached the elders of the Jews that he had the protocol to be. And the elders of the Jews, because of the man's story, they said, we'll go to him. Ideally, he's not supposed to come to your house. By our law, he should not enter into your house. But if we invite him and bid him come, he will come. And so they went to him and said, Master, this man has this challenge. We know you have what it takes to meet this challenge. Please come and bless him. Well, Jesus initially, at least from the body language in scripture, he wouldn't want to. But they quickly added something. They said he loved our nation and he has built for us what? A synagogue. Immediately they said that. Jesus said, okay, let's go. I'll go now. God you see, when a church is started, a church that calls on the name of the Lord in true righteousness and holiness, when that church is started, you can start in a five-star hotel. That church is not founded. I'm telling you the truth. Because one day, if the management of the hotel changes, or if petrol prices goes up, are you listening to me? And they decide to change the rate. What if the church that have been meeting comfortably in that hotel can no longer pay the bills? They will have to look for somewhere else. And only God knows what would have happened to the seed and the labor they have had over time. When God gives you a land, your portion on the earth, and God enables you to build, what you have actually done is that you have made a stake on the ground for the Lord Jesus. Are you listening to me? And so I want you to appreciate what God has done for you in this place. I want you to see the mighty hand of God. I want you to know 
that this is just the beginning. Did I hear you? This is what? Just the beginning. The Lord will make you great and mighty, and your, lead, your branches will go beyond the walls in the name of the Lord Jesus. God bless you. Congratulations, heritage of God. Congratulations, leaders of the heritage of God. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. Let's receive God's servant as he comes. Glory be to God. Thank you, sir. Praise the Lord. Now, we're going to call the choir now, but before we call the choir, I would like, you know, I had a statement from a man of God. Many of you know Pastor Tunde Bakari, and he was making a statement one day. He was pastoring a church where all ages were there. In that event, he was the pastor, and he had just finished praying for the people. And then there were elders there. So they said, after they finished, they now said, Pastor, pray for us. He said, I've done pastoral duties. Then they called some of the elders and said, Baba, a sure from what? There's something about prayer. There's something about sure. I don't know. Sure is meaningful deep, right? Exactly. Thank you so much, man of God, for the word. And I want to call Apostle Dr. Osamayon. Lati Shekini, Sure from what? Even if it's one word you have to say, sir. Please, we'd like you to step on this pulpit and we'll receive the blessing. And mommy can come with him, please, just to stand on this pulpit and just say a word of greeting to the church. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Praise the Lord. Thank you, sir. Praise the Lord. Please let us be seated. We want to give all the glory to God. It's a great privilege to be here today. And we thank God for this man of God and the wife. We give glory to the name of the Lord. Now we now know you. I'm I'm on you daily, daily. Uh, amen. Hallelujah. My wife will just say a word, then we'll pray. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I remember when we first came here. It was a long time. It was just like maybe they were starting foundation or something like that. It was a long time. And that day, we just prayed in our heart, and I told God that, ah, a big thing will start one day. I bless the name of the Lord that when we started our church in a sitting room, everybody knew Brother Nicholas that time. And anytime people would go to a faith clinic, Brother Ibn Amen would tell them, if you want to have sound teaching, go to scout camp. Churches, uh, you know, fellowships were not many. And people were coming to scout camp until the Lord saw that they needed to send us out of Molete Baptist Church. Thank God for today that we are everywhere. Even the Baptists, they will say, Omo wani, koye wani, Praise the Lord. I also grew under Brother Nicholas. So, Sister Akidele, it's not only you who learn. I also grew under Brother Nicholas. When I accepted the Lord in 1975, October 25. And in December 1975, I joined that small house fellowship. Not because I wanted to marry him. I actually followed somebody up to the church. And he happened to know the only, to be the only person that knew that person. So I grew there. And uh, until eventually in 79, we got married. I thank God. I want to say thank you very much to Brother Nicholas. But like you will say, Sister Moji was Sister Moji that time. Many people will ask Brother Miko, do you still remember Sister Moji? We still talk. We say, eh, I know Sister Moji. Hallelujah. 
I thank God so much for today that we have come here. I told Sister Kindele when she sent it and she said, I never knew you would be in Nigeria. Would you please be here? I told her we really want to come. And that made us to, you know, I started shuffling the program of uh, daddy here and there to make sure that we are here today. I congratulate you. Be and um, Apostle Udo, you made my day. What I had, some people might not hear it. You said a word that really touched my heart. Thank you, man of God. You said, when a church is to start, you have to do the foundation. If you are meeting in a hotel room, when the management changes the, uh, the policy, you are out there. I thank God, Mrs. Akindele, that the church, the property we bought in South Africa, and we start, you know, we moved to that church. That place that was once a church and then turned to a brutal. And it was the first place we had the name date raping in the whole of South Africa. The law used us to take it back and we paid for it by pledging our own personal house to buy that place. And today, even when we started moving home, small by small, that church remains. Thank you, Apostle Udo. I know the Akideles do know all our children. And the first one happened to be the first pastor there. Today, Pastor Tosi is in Scotland. But that church, with his family, that church is moving on. You know our second son, the IT man, he is continuing in it. Our third son, who happened to be the music director there, is in America today with his family. And that church is there. And our only daughter, your daughter, will soon join you. But that church is standing. Thank you, Apostle Udo. You have made my day. May the Lord continue to be with you. I want to salute um, Prof. Professor Ade Dakbo and the wife. Many times the Akindele had mentioned your name. The first time we came, I never knew you. But I thank God that you are still alive. And that we are still alive. So thank you today. I thank God that I'm here with my husband and we can say thank you, Professor Adida, for that this vision continues. On our way to America in 2018, when my husband was going to minister, he would have died in the plane. If not for God, I was the only person that was not sleeping and there was this white man. When I was hearing this sound, I wanted to wake him and say, Daddy, you are making a sound. I saw that a dead man was beside me. I shouted for help. And to the glory of the name of the Lord, it was only God that revived him. And when we were also in America, he will finish, <laughs> he finished his ministration the first day. I said, Daddy, let's be going back to where we came from. The morning came. He said, God told him, you must stay. Ha. We waited. And it was as if nothing happened the first day. The second day was also so glorious. People came. And here he is with me in 2023. Hail and hearty. Sound. <laughs> Professor Adedapo, thank you very much. That you are the one that continued to keep the vision. It didn't die. It's the vision of God. Thank you, Apostle Uda. May the Lord be with you. And I want to thank the whole church. Because when there is a pastor and there is no congregation, you will preach to yourself. So we need one another. You have supported them. The Lord will continue to support you in Jesus' name. And all men of God, elders, deacons, leaders, whatsoever, the Lord of heaven, he will crown your efforts in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Daddy, for giving me this opportunity to speak. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to, I want us to stand together and celebrate 
are these servants of the Lord. Let us clap for them and celebrate them. Thank you very much. I know what it is to leave your church and then you go, you travel out. I know because it happened when we had to, after 20 years, we had to leave our own ministry when God told us to go to Africa. God kept that church and we really give glory to the name. Please, let's celebrate them. Thank you very much, Sars and Mars. The Almighty God will bless you and water everything that pertains to your life in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. Please turn to somebody beside you and say thank you for being part of this uh, celebration. Just shake hands with us. Thank you for being part of this celebration. Okay. Then, Ejeki, I see Gege B1 Siso, Kweka Suri. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's lift up our right hands. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you very much for this great day. Thank you, God, for this work that you started many years ago. We are very, very grateful. Thank you, God, for your servants that they are still alive to witness this great day. Take all the glory, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, we bless you and we bless your name for the men and women that you raise up to continue the work while they were away. We give all the glory to you, God. We pray, God, as they have watered the work that was started through them, O God, we pray. Lord, all these servants of yours will be watered in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, that you favor them in a special way, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you very much, Almighty God, and we commit each and every one of us that are lifting up our hands before you. King of glory, I pray that you release your power upon each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. I say you will fulfill destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. And destiny help us will come your way in the name of Jesus Christ. It is well with you. It is well with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you very much, almighty God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.